Hi, my name is Rich Kronfeld. I'm the founder and CEO of Kronfeld Motors. Thank you very much for letting me present to you today. The mission of my company is to disrupt the motorsports industry with this amazing new vehicle called the Rat Racer. And judging from the fact that we've already sold out our first run of vehicles, we may be onto something. Uh, now, I'm an avid biker and I began bike commuting and quickly discovered the problems with it, like almost getting hit, getting rained on, and the practical issues of not being really able to carry any cargo. So I invented a safer, more practical way to bike. But what I didn't realize at the time was that I had actually invented a new motorsports category, and then I discovered a hole in the motorsports market that this could fit into. Now, new innovations in motorsports are supposed to be a new thrill for people, like the first jet ski or ATV or snowmobile, and the Rat Racer is that. Regulated by the government as a motorcycle, the Rat Racer is the world's first high-speed pedal cycling vehicle. When you pedal it, you generate energy to extend your range. And if you don't want to pedal it, you don't have to. It can also track the terrain you're on and compensate. So you could be going up a steep hill in San Francisco, but it feels like a nice flat highway in Nebraska. But the most exciting thing about the Rat is the power multiplier system. It takes your own normal pedal effort and cadence and amplifies it 50, 60, 70 miles per hour. When you pedal in a rat, you go as fast as a car, giving you the sensation of having superhuman legs. That is the new thrill. It has a reinforced fiberglass body, roll cage, frame, seat belts, and airbag. Our patented tech is a combination of dynamic pedal regen with programmable fitness functions, literally a drivable exercise machine. The first prototype was built by myself and Lion Smith, an industrial designer and composites engineer. Ryan Anderson, our CTO, is a mechanical engineering grad from MIT. My background is from the fiercely competitive and entrepreneurial world of show business. What qualifies me to do this was the dogged, relentless determination to build a prototype of an advanced new kind of experimental vehicle, and we did. Uh, our early adopter B2C customers are middle-aged males that like to spend their disposable incomes on toys. Now these are the guys that buy the latest tech, carbon fiber bikes, Porsches and Teslas, they're physically active, and there's about 9.7 million people in the U.S. that fit that gender, age, and income demographic. Our first customers definitely fit that demo. Our first B2B customers are fleet sales to shops that rent jet skis, scooters, and sightseeing carts to people that are on vacation on an island, for example. In fact, uh, a shop on Long Island, New York, has signed an LOI to buy a fleet from us. Uh, further sales will come from car share organizations, corporate sales, and government clean fleets programs. Uh, later stage customers are uh, electric vehicle buyers and fitness conscious urban commuters. We will also make the vehicle available without the pedal function because I've been approached by power sports enthusiasts that just want a new, safer kind of a motorcycle. We are price competitive with a lower end EV and a higher end motorcycle. Uh, we've built a functional prototype, now what we need to do is to do our design and development for our production model. We'll build two or three prototypes of that and use those for press, testing, and demos. Then we'll go into manufacturing and we'll contract with the manufacturer to build the first run. And I've spoken with all of these companies and they're able to do it. Our go-to marketing strategies are a combination of 21st century internet tactics and good old-fashioned pressing the flesh in person and a little bit of chutzpah. Uh, we'll partner with a company that will be able to use our, our vehicles for their own branding and PR. We'll do special unique PR events and possibly even an assembly area in the Mall of America. I'm taking the strategy of Tesla in introducing at first a premium vehicle and then reducing the price as we are able to expand it out to further markets. I have a full month-by-month -month financial model if anyone would like to see it. And lastly, now, forget everything I just said. This is why it will sell. Forgive my potty mouth, but the Rat Racer is badass. And badass things sell really, really, really well in America. Badass cars, 
motorcycles, rock and roll, movies, video games, uh, tech author and speaker Kathy Sierra says that it should be the goal of any company to make its customers badass. And this is what Kronfeld Motors does. Thank you very much for your time. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact me, rich at kronfeldmotors.com or 612-819-5606. Thanks a lot.